this is my car engine and I know nothing about this at all. But I still drive my car because I can control that. So whilst I know nothing about the engine, I'm still able to control my vehicle and that's what I want, control. And this is what excites me about Android 10. It's got so many more controls. If you wanna know what those controls are, what are the Android 10 features you should know about, let me show you what you need to know. Break it down now, phone. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name's Leron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks on how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Let's talk about notifications. So, an email has come in. I've got a bunch of options I can play with. First of all, I can click on silence notification and I can look at my all my apps that are giving me notifications and I can simply say, okay, email, I don't want to hear from you or yes, I do, security cameras, whatever it may be. Another option, notification has come in, swipe it to the left or to the right, and there's a little clock. If I tap on the clock, I can just silence this particular application for a period of time. This is silence for an hour, I can silence for 20 minutes, for two hours, whatever it may be. Swipe again, click on settings, and this is where I can again control the notification and just silence it. And next up, let's talk about location. Did you know that a lot of the apps constantly request your location? Some of them don't even need to. So do a search under settings called location, find the apps, click on that. And these are all the apps that I have installed on my phone. Now, what I can do, go into any particular app, this is the Best Buy app, and say only allow the location to be sent when I'm using the app. There's no reason for it to get my location at any time. Or I can deny it all together. Let's do another one. Uh, let's look at Facebook, for example. Tap on that. Why does Facebook need my location all the time? No, it can only have it when I'm using the apps. Go into settings and then search for captions or live captions. Now it will come up in two places. They both take you to the same location anyway. Click on it and enable that. Now it currently can do captions in English, but I'm assuming more languages will come at some point. I can hide profanity, whole bunch of settings for you to play with. So what is live captions in actual action? Well, if I open up YouTube, for example, I go to my channel and I start to play one of my videos. Now you'll see even during the ads, a little box pops up called live captions and it starts to caption what's already playing in the ad. This is not YouTube captions, but just transcribing the media that's currently playing. This doesn't just work for YouTube, but here is Pandora. I'm listening to John Heffron, he is awesome. And you see, it's already captioning everything that John is currently saying. Swipe down to get rid of it. Another awesome feature in Android 10 is the digital well-being. So let's go into the search and we're gonna type in digital well-being and there they come up. And this gives me an overview of how many hours, how many minutes, what kind of apps I've been using, and it shows me how many apps starting to talk to me. So this has got 65 apps that I unlocked to go read specific messages, WhatsApp, YouTube Studio, Twitter, etc. And then the other one is notification. I have 247 notifications. How many notifications have come from my email? How many have come from my WhatsApp? I can really start to understand which apps are demanding my attention and do I want them to have my attention the entire time? Sometimes not so much. Because this is all about my digital well-being, what I can also do is limit how many minutes I'm allowed to use a specific app for. So if I know that I spend a lot of time on TikTok, I can say, okay, now TikTok only allow me five minutes a day or however much. Let me show you what that looks like. So I set it to only allow me five minutes. I'm already way beyond that. So you can see my TikTok is actually grayed out. And if I try to click on it, it comes up with this message saying this app has been paused. Of course, you can go into settings and of course you can override your own digital well-being if you choose to. On the same digital well-being screen, if you scroll down, you've got something called the wind down. Once you enable that at a certain time on a certain days that you've selected and it will end at a certain time in the morning, it will start to wind down your phone. It will put the phone into grayscale. It will switch on the do not disturb. The night light will come on just putting you into that rest mode. So again, helping you switch off at the end of the day and disconnect. Another awesome feature, which is a little bit hidden, is the sound amplifier. Go into settings, go into accessibility, scroll down until you see sound amplifier. 
Now essentially what it does is that it amplifies the audio that's around the phone. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna enable that, got that. Now it only works if you're plugged in or you're wired with a 3.5 millimeter head jack. This is the Pixel 4, so I've gotta be plugged in via the micro USB, got my headphones on, swipe up with two fingers and amplification is now running. What does that mean? It means when I click around the phone, when I tap around the phone, all that noise gets amplified to my headphones. I've got some customizations I can do as well. I can give it a little bit of a boost so everything is louder. I can play with the fine tuning. I can go into noise reduction, high, medium or low. I can set my preference based on what's going on around me. And then the source of the audio can be the mic on the phone or it can be the headphones. One of the cool features of Android is being able to have synchronization across multiple devices, but you want control over that as well. So under settings, go into privacy, go into advanced, and then you've got activity control. Here's where you can see what information you're sharing and you can switch it off or switch it on. What's the Wi-Fi password? This is pretty common that you hear these days and in trying to discover what the Wi-Fi password is from the waiter or the network owner, bit of a pain. But if you're already connected, go into settings, go into share, verify that it's you and a QR code appears. They have an Android 10 phone, they can scan that QR code. If they don't have, underneath that in plain text, it will write the Wi-Fi password, give it to them and let them connect as well. I'm glad to say that on Android 10, you can actually get two types of update. You can get a system update and you can get a security update. They're actually separate. So under security and settings, you've got security check. You can run a check for an update to make sure you're on the latest version. And then you've got the Google Play update. And if there is an update to your system, ask you to download it and then install it as per normal. Smart replies are really, really smart. This is when you get a text message, when somebody says, hey, where are we going for dinner? Google tries to automatically give you some options, like in this particular case, click on it, it will show you the dinner location. Also gives you quick replies, what it thinks that you want to answer. So one touch and the person gets the message, love it. With Android 10 comes a whole new set of navigation. So you go into something, you wanna go one step back, swipe from the left or swipe from the right and it just simply takes you one step back. Swipe up from the bottom, home screen, swipe up and hold and your recently used applications are there. Does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, you navigate around the screen so quickly. Now, if you don't like it, you can go into settings, search for system navigation and go back to the old three buttons navigations. Which one was your favorite Android 10 feature? Let me know in the comments below. Check out some of these other cool videos down there. Hit the head below to subscribe and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.